I just want to share some modifications that I've done to this uh, Motive power brake bleeder. Um, the first one that I did was I added this tank vent valve and what this does is allows you to um, relieve any pressure that's inside this vessel just by uh, twisting this and it'll, it opens up uh, this valve and air can escape and relieve all the pressure in this tank. And it's really easy to operate and um, is way simpler than trying to take this uh, cover off, um, especially in the vehicle or in the engine bay of the vehicle. I did kind of screw up. They make tank, tank vent valves that kind of have like a lever and uh, or like a quarter turn. And I should have bought that type because this is sometimes I have to take vice grips to this and to open it up. But I'm actually going to replace this uh, tank vent valve with just a ball valve and see how that does because I have some extra so the other modification that I've done is I would always get air bubbles in this pressurized discharge line uh, this goes out to the master cylinder through uh, an attachment like this and I'd get air bubbles and it would always make me nervous that I was gonna get enough air bubbles in here to uh, push air into the braking system which you don't want to do and uh, I never really understood why I was getting air bubbles because this has a dip tube uh, that went down into the fluid level and even when this was full um, I would still get air bubbles so I didn't completely understand it until I uh, took this clamp off and this clamp if you have one of these the clamp is um, kind of like a CV boot clamp it's it's one of these and this was kind of, it's tough to take this off without uh, hurting the hose underneath of it. So it took a while for me to just um, get frustrated enough to remove it. But I finally took it off one day. Um, and what I found is that under here, uh, this has been modified, but under here was like a, a plastic line with a brass little ferrule. And the plastic line had broken and it was allowing air to come in um, into the pressurized discharge line along with some fluid. So what I did was uh, mic the hole and found that uh, brake line uh, actually is very close uh, in size to the hole that was drilled in this case. So I took a drill bit that was just a little bit smaller than the diameter of this brake line drilled it and then it was just a little bit more than a press fit so it took a little piece of wood and a little hammer and tapped tapped it in and I miked this depth here too so you cut the brake line so it just is above the bottom of the uh, bleeder and then I cut the bottom at like a 45 degree angle so um, even if it was touching it wouldn't uh, block off the flow uh, up the dip tube and um, this has actually been really nice and because this is metal and it goes through the casing this is going to reinforce the casing and make this a little bit stronger um, <clears throat> and then I'm finally uh, getting rid of these uh, worm gear clamps and I'm gonna go with these like fuel injection style uh, clamps because I like these clamps a lot better um, so that's kind of all the modifications that I've made to this. Uh, another one that I've thought about doing is um, adding like a tire uh, chuck or valve stem and then that way I could take shop air and just um, pressurize this instead of having to use the manual pump because this pump's starting to get go bad but you can rebuild them or buy another one. Um, I just haven't done it but sometimes shop air is just easier to use. Um, so anyway, hopefully, uh, some of these tips are helpful for you and, uh, maybe you experience some of the similar problems and, um, this will be a, a way to fix that for you. So.